All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And, fellas, I've got some pretty cool Black Ops Cold War news and information to pass on to you guys. It looks like we are getting another fan favorite classic Black Ops 2 remastered map dropping on February 4th to bluster the rotation of maps in this amazing game here, Black Ops Cold War. <laughs> and the map we are getting. It's a remastered map, of course, but it's a new remaster. Express! We're getting Express! <laughs> oh, baby! Express, come on in! A Black Ops 2 fan... I wouldn't really call Express a fan favorite. Actually, Express was one of the... I, I'm not even going to call it a bad map, but... Yeah, the, the, my teammates can't tell if I'm on their team or not either. You notice how everyone's just shooting at everybody in this game? Nobody can tell who's on anyone's team because everybody's wearing the same uniform. Everybody looks the same, bro. How did I not kill these noobs camping in the corner, man? I, oh, yeah, you go ahead and take my kill. All right, there you go. Finally got him. Anyway, fellas, we're getting express, man. Uh, and listen, I think this map is solid. It's definitely not one of my favorite Black Ops 2 maps, but I'm excited about this one because... Call of Duty can't really make good new maps. I mean, this map right here is okay, I guess. I mean, I don't even know the name of this map. This map is pretty decent. Uh, it's probably one of the better 6v6 maps in this game, which really isn't saying much. <laughs> this, this map is all right. I'm excited about remasters, fellas, because they don't make maps like they used to anymore. Let's be honest. Uh, they always need old maps to come in and save their game. I mean, the maps that have been in Black Ops Cold War and, the, and Modern Warfare 2019, oh my god, it's like the people who designed them never played Call of Duty ever in their life. Honestly, the people who designed the maps in the last two COD games, uh, it's almost like they're, they're making the maps for a different game. <laughs> I mean, especially Modern Warfare 2019. I'll say the maps here on Black Ops Cold Sweat, way better than the maps in uh, Modern Warfare 20. The maps in Modern Warfare are, oh my, dude, they are terrible. Even the best map in the game, Shipment, the map everyone loves, is a complete disaster. That map is a, you just spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn. I mean, it's a disaster. What, what is that map, dude? It's ridiculous. <laughs> You already know how I play that map. I just sit in the uh, container and just spawn kill people all game. I mean, what else is there to do? Run out and get shot in the back 24-7? No thank you, mama didn't raise no fool. I am the one, the way your time don't need so even though we're getting Express back, not one of my favorites, I'm hyped about it because it's a new remaster. They're actually bringing us a new remastered map <laughs> because usually they just keep remastering the same maps over and over. And over again, same maps. I mean, how many times have we seen Jungle? How many times have we seen Fire and Range? I mean, dude, I, honestly, man, Summit. I mean, these are Hall of Fame, first ballot, Hall of Fame, goaded maps. But damn it, I'm tired of seeing them. I want to see some new-ish in my COD game, damn it. I'm tired of playing the same maps over and over again. So we're getting Express back, which I'm hyped for. Express will easily be one of the best maps in this game. And uh, this game desperately needs more 6v6 maps. I'm sorry. Uh, the problem with Call of Duty nowadays is that they're trying to cater to everybody, bro. You got 6v6, 3v3, you got uh, combined arms. I mean, dude, there's so many playlists in this game splitting up the community. It's insane. I mean, Call of Duty used to be a fun, fast-paced arcade 6v6 shooter. That's what everybody loved. Now they're trying to be like Battlefield. They're trying to they're trying to be like all types of other games. They're trying to be like Battle Royale. Uh, Call of Duty has just morphed into... Uh, there's more variants of Call of Duty than there is the coronavirus for crying out loud, man. You got variants of COD everywhere. Battle Royale, COD, Battlefield, COD, multiplayer, COD, Team Tactical now. I mean, dude, you got everything. But uh, some these are five maps I would like to see remastered because according to the MW2 OG, there are even more remastered maps coming to Black Ops Cold War, everybody. There's even more remastered maps. And like I said, I'm hyped about this, man, because... They can't make good new maps, guys. Let's be honest. So bring on the remasters, baby. Keep remixing the classics, man, because the new maps are trash. They're absolutely terrible. So the MW2 OG says, just been told there's about eight more remakes planned after Express. So at least one, sometimes two, each season, every season. Thumbs up. You know, I'm hyped about it, fellas, because let's face it, fellas. Call of Duty's best years are well behind us, man. We can only live in the past. If we want to hope to ever enjoy Call of Duty again, man. <laughs> the old remastered maps. Well, anyway, guys, I opened up a bag of chips. And I try and noob tube this dude. But he just beams me through the smoke with the DMR. 
I mean, I was pinned. I couldn't really move. I think they nerfed the DMR a few times. That dude just blind fire beamed me right through the smoke. I swear to God, bro. I get the most suspect deaths in Call of Duty ever. Don't I, fellas? Bro, I was howling after that. I lost my noob tube, which is my my pride and joy. One of the few things that I cherish in this game is that noob tube. And the DMR took it from me, damn it. I was so mad. Oh, my goodness. The one streak in this game that puts in work. And I get bodied through the smoke by uh, overpowered uh, DMR there. How many times that DMR catch a nerf anyway, man? Nerf it again, Treyar. <laughs> I think the DMR's already been nerfed like twice. Oh, eat that Nate Thunder. Uh, anyway, guys, so listen, I'm, I'm hype that Express is coming back. But don't stop there, Treyar. We already know you're going to remaster a whole bunch more fan favorite classic maps. The MW2 OG blew up the spot. I guarantee that dude is probably some Activision employee, too. He's probably some Activision. All these leaks are all probably planned, man. They're all part of the hype machine. Uh, but I think that these five maps should be remastered next, fellas, after Express. Number one, you guys probably already know what I'm going to say, baby. Wait, hold on. Before I get to that, what is this? Look at this. cheese. the street sweeper shoddy. Yo, I need to unlock that shotgun, man. I've been looking for some shotgun cheese ever since this game came out. Not really impressed with the stock shotguns that are in this game but that street sweeper cheese fellas that looks like it might be just what i need to have a little more fun in this game because other than the noob, uh, the noob tube there's really not many things i enjoy about this game <laughs> to be honest uh, how do you unlock that thing anyway man drop down the comment section how do i get that street sweeper anyway guys so these are five other remastered maps i'd like to see come now the mw2 og said they're going to bring eight remakes we're just gonna start with five we'll get to the other three in another video but these five maps need to come back man number one standoff you already got raid in this game you can't have raid without standoff baby i know standoff's already been remastered i think maybe once or twice before who cares i think standoff would fit this game tremendously bro the standoff would be fantastic in this game and we desperately need more good 6v6 maps and speaking of more good 6v6 maps, let's talk about an amazing DLC map from Black Ops 2. No, I'm not talking about Grind, the skate park, even though that probably is one of the best DLC maps ever made in the Call of Duty franchise. I'm talking about the other goaded DLC map, uh, Rush, the the, uh, the paintball map, man. Bring that map back. That map was fantastic. Rush from Black Ops 2. I don't know why that map has never been uh, remade. It needs to be in this game, too. That would be great. I would also like to see Grid come back from Black Ops 1. And you'll see I pulled up the scoreboard there, fellas. Had to backpack the hell out of this team, man. I dropped damn near 40 kills. Mostly gun kills only, too, because my chopper did nothing. And the DMR cheese robbed me of having a noob tube session in here. So pretty much 39 kills all with my gun. <laughs> and uh, streaks did absolutely nothing. Streaks in this game are absolute garbage. Uh, it is what it is. They don't show the scoreboard. Look, look, they just show a black screen. And, and then I get kicked. Then I get kicked. They're like, oh, you were sweating way too hard, man. We got to kick you out of that. What, you drop 39 kills? Nah, nah, nah. We're going to send you to uh, the COD World League lobby next. So needless to say, right after that match, I went straight back to Nuketown for some uh, account maintenance, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we're just running around no scoping and sniping. I'm telling you, fellas, just running around sniping and just acting a fool. Uh, it, uh, Nuketown 24-7 is a great way to soften the skill-based matchmaking in this game, fellas. If, if you want to, if the skill-based matchmaking is too strict on your account, jump into the uh, Nuketown 24-7 playlist only lobby and just act a fool. And it'll help relax that skill-based matchmaking. Man, you can actually uh, do this for a couple games because it's performance-based matchmaking more than anything. And uh, do this for a couple games and then, like, you'll be all set. Trust me. <laughs> Don't sweat every game or else that's all you're going to do is play against other sweats every game. You gotta play like a goof, so the matchmaking kinda backs off you a little bit. It's unfortunate, but it is the way it is, man. This is how Call of Duty is now. <laughs> you gotta like go hard, then go easy, then go hard, then go easy. If you go hard every game, skill-based matchmaking is gonna choke you out. You're gonna hate the game. I mean, unless you just like sweating every game. I don't know, I don't. I, I like goofing around and having fun and playing COD casually every once in a while, as you can see here. <laughs> I'm just goofing around. But uh, anyway, guys, so I would also like to see Grid get brought back, a Black Ops 1 map. Uh, Hanoi from uh, Black Ops 1, another great Black Ops 1 map, a nighttime map. And Plaza from Black Ops 2. I'd uh, love to see those five maps remastered. I know they're going to remaster eight. I don't know, maybe Cove from uh, Black Ops 2. Cove was an awesome DLC map. Man, Black Ops 2 had some great DLC maps, didn't they? 
Uh, I don't know. I, I can't even think. There's, there's so many great maps that they can choose from. I haven't even touched World at War yet. They can bring back Dome from World at War, Courtyard. Uh, I don't know why they don't remaster classic World at War maps. I mean, World at War maps would be amazing. I mean, all of us have been dying to play World at War Remastered, man. If they could bring back some of the maps and put them in this game, I mean, that'd be close enough, man. <laughs> bring back Castle, Airfield, Hangar. I mean, dude, they could bring back so many amazing classic 6v6 uh, maps that would just absolutely shine here in Black Ops Cold Sweat. What do you guys think? Drop it down in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.